Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Tara here and today we're going to be going through a day in my life while I am studying for the USMLE Step 1 on quarantine. So first I kind of start my day, check my phone, check my email, and I do get up bright and early around 6am every day, sometime between 6 and 6.30. Um, on this particular day I'm getting up, turning on the lights, uh, picking up my pillows, getting myself all ready to go. So I get myself dressed into some workout gear because I'm going to be working out a little bit later and I bring that big br brown blanket down to my study space. The next thing I, that I do is I'm going to be going to the washroom and going through my morning routine. So I'm going to be brushing through my hair, uh, I'm going to be washing my face, brushing my teeth, all of the usual things that everyone gets done in their morning routines. So then I head down to the living room, pull out a yoga mat, and get ready to start my day with some easy stretches. Uh, this morning I'm following a video from the YouTube channel Mad Fit. Uh, she's going through some easy, easy stretches for people who are not exactly flexible. I have some flexibility in some parts of my body and not in others. I've started doing this over the past week or so after I'd had a discussion on my Instagram about morning routines and someone recommended that I start my day off with some stretches and I've actually really enjoyed it. Because I'm staying in the same position for so long when I'm studying, getting up, getting up and getting some stretches in really has made a big difference in the past week or so. Now, as we move on, I go to the kitchen so that I can make my morning smoothie. My morning smoothie is usually frozen fruit plus uh, yogurt and orange juice. And uh, I'll add a little bit of oatmeal in there just so that it's a little bit more filling. I don't really have a recipe for this. I don't really weigh anything or measure anything. It's just kind of like, ah, oh, that looks good. That's about the consistency I'm looking for. And I'll add things just until I reach the consistency I'm looking for. Here you can see me double checking the tightness of the blender because it does have a problem with sometimes leaking. As you can see right about now, oh no, the blender started leaking and that kind of threw a wrench into things. Had to clean up, move things off to the side. But I was still able to enjoy the smoothie that I had left, and then I make my daily cup of tea, which is usually like an English breakfast or an Earl Grey with uh, just some milk. I've been trying to cut back on the sugar. I used to put two sugars in my tea, but now I've been cutting back. As you can see, I like to start my day with many beverages, and I get right into studying. My routine so far has been to start my day with 40 questions from the USMLE RX Q Bank, and then get into my cram fighter list for the day. I do wear headphones for this. Uh, that's because I like to play white noise in the in the background just so that I can get more focused. And then once I'm done those 40 questions, uh, it's time for mom and I to have our workout. You can see my mom in the background folding up a blanket. So my mom has been working with her trainer, Albert Klein from Trainers Haven uh, for as long as I can remember. And we do a 45-ish minute workout. Um, he's fantastic. We've been doing them through FaceTime during uh, the time of quarantine. I keep telling her it's Joe Exotic and she keeps saying, oh, it's Exotic Joe! <laughs> Activity completed. <sighs> Stretch time! <laughs> <laughs> 
then after the workout, I tend to have a shower, get myself all cleaned up. We have some really cool conversations. We were talking about uh, the Tiger King documentary um, while entering our workout today. Then once I'm out of the shower, I change my hair from being down to being in a braid and get right back to studying. Right now we're doing hematology and on this particular day, I was going through lymphomas, leukemias, myeloproliferative disorders. It's a lot to learn, it's a lot to keep on top of, but I've got some really great resources that I've been using that I really like. I've been trying to mix in uh, some active learning with some passive learning. Then we had a webinar with AMSA, the American Medical Student Association, and I ate my lunch and they were doing a webinar on the USMLE. Then it's right back to studying for me after the webinar is over. Really, this is, this is how exciting my day gets, guys. I do like to try and incorporate some movement throughout the day while I take some breaks. So I try to incorporate some stretching or some rolling out my muscles because I am in the same position, sitting at the table all day studying. So I think it's really important to incorporate some movement. And that brings us right to four o'clock. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a glimpse. Uh, my dad and I are gonna be making some chicken parm for dinner tonight. He's never seen me do it, so uh, he wants to learn how to make it. So this is gonna be us doing that. So uh, here we go. Don't stop me. Don't stop me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey! Hi. You going to bed? Yeah. Yeah. How was your day? Alrighty. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. So while my dad was in the shower, I got everything set up for us to make our chicken parm, and my boyfriend Lyle called to say goodnight. He is still in Dublin, so we're kind of doing a little bit of a distance thing right now but we know that we're both doing what's best for best for us and our families. Uh, so I'm here just showing my dad how I cut the chicken for our chicken parm. Um, and then we're gonna get right up to frying things off and putting tomato sauce and cheese on everything. It is so delicious. We don't eat like this all the time or every day. Um, this is more of a special occasion type of meal. And because it's a special occasion, I made a lot of it. We made two full pans. They're done! Ta-da! Mom and Dad had to step out for a bit, so they're just kind of gonna hang out here until they get back, and then we're gonna eat dinner, and uh, then I'm gonna study some more, you know? That study life, gotta do it all the time. They won't notice if like a little piece goes missing, right? Oh, they'll notice. No, we gotta take a little one. They're not gonna notice, right? And for those of you who may be wondering, this is immediately before they walked in the door and I was in fact caught stealing the chicken parm. So we just got through eating dinner and now I'm sitting back down to do some more study, um, hoping to get through um, myeloproliferative disease and multiple myeloma. <sighs> Still so much to get through. Like, why does it feel never ending, mom? My mom is sitting over here in front of, uh, let me just turn you she, she, so you can no, see what she's no, doing. No. My mom is sitting over there on the other side of the room. I'm not sure if you can see that. And she's doing a puzzle <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> and all I wanna be doing is helping her with the puzzle. Do you want me to move to another spot? No, cause I thought this was like... I'm not going to be able to see what happens with the puzzle now if you move. Back to studying. Last one. So I was able to get through the rest of my study list for the day, but it took about an hour to get through everything.
that's all, folks. So then, to finish my day, I went to help my mom with the puzzle. Uh, it's this really weird wolf puzzle. We usually are used to doing like 1,000 to 5,000 piece puzzles, and this one's only 500 pieces, and we had a really hard time with it. Um, the pieces were very oddly shaped, uh, so you can see we're constantly trying to match things up to the picture. And also, all of the colors were very, very similar. It was a lot of uh, muted browns, uh, all put together. It was this wolf puzzle. So then I end my day by going through the normal bedtime routine, washing my face, brushing my teeth, the huge. Um, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and ring the bell to get notifications when I post new videos every single Sunday and now more frequently on Wednesdays. Um, if you have anything you'd like to tell me, please leave it in the comment section below and I will see you next time. But until then, um, I will see you guys all later. <laughs> Bye for now.